Welcome once again to FOMA Solutions. In today's video, we are going to talk about quadratic inequalities. In our previous video, we highlighted on quadratic equations, and today we will be taking <coughs> quadratic inequalities. Now, quadratic inequalities are expressions of the form. Less than less than or equal to greater than or equal to any of these four inequality signs can be assigned instead of an equal to sign. That's why we say what quadratic inequalities. The expression is in the form of second degree, as we can see, and determined by the name quadratic. Now our main problem or task is to solve quadratic inequalities how do we do that it's kind of a little bit different from finding the roots of an equation whereby we just have to factorize and equate to zero and find the roots or using the quadratic formula or using completion of squares but here we actually need to understand graphs of what quadratic functions and how to read theta when given what quadratic graphs. So without wasting my time, let's take some few examples and find out how to um, solve for the quadratic inequalities. So assuming we have been given this quadratic inequality to solve. Okay, so we have here x squared minus 2x minus 3 less than or equal to 0. So we start by first working on the left hand side of the expression. So we are going to take x squared minus 2x minus 3 which is greater or equal to 0. We first factorize the left hand expression here so factorizing this gives us you can use any method of factorization that you know because you're only interested in the factor but not the process and getting what the factor so factorizing this gives us x plus one and also we have x minus three less or equal to zero so after factorizing our next step or next start is to find the graph of these factors when we equate them to zero assuming we are equating these factors to zero that is x plus one x minus three being equal to zero let's plot a graph for this relation even though it isn't part of the inequality but this one guys has to get the graph of what the quadratic relation here so let's see the roots of this expression will be x equals negative 1 and x equals positive 3 so this will be the roots of this equation here so we're going to plot the graph for this equation and definitely our graph will look something like this Y axis and my x axis. First, we locate our roots on the x axis. So x equals minus 1 will be somewhere here. x equals 3 will also be somewhere here. Now, we don't need to find y intercept and red because we're only interested in the roots of this equation. But we can draw its graph when we know what the nature of graphs. Assuming you have this relation here, the coefficient of the x squared is it positive or negative? If the coefficient of the x squared is positive, the graph 
of that function looks like this. That's a minimum quadratic graph. But when the coefficients of the x squared is negative, so that's when the coefficient, let's say a is positive, and when the coefficient of x is negative, that is a equals negative value, our graph looks this way, turns upside down or opens downwards. When a is positive, now the coefficient of x squared, the graph opens what? Upwards. Since our coefficient here is positive, our graph is going to open upwards. So all that we need to do is to move upwards this way. Okay. So that's how the graph will look like. Let's sketch. Now our next task, which is to get the graph, is done. Now we are going to find parts of the graph that will satisfy this inequality here. Because that's what we are to work for. This one only gives us a graph and we use the graph to analyze the inequality here. So we pick any portion of the graph. Now you can see that the graph divides the exercises into three parts. That's the first part in between is the second part and the other side from the third part. So when the solution set is being given, it's either it will be the end here and that end there, or to be within the words graph of the function. So if we test any value at this part of the graph and we satisfy the inequality sign or equation inequality expression here, that means the other side also will satisfy. Then there will be a solution set. Or when we test for the interval here, that's within the curve, when any value there satisfies the inequality here, then that will be our solution set. So now, it's always easier to test with the origin, which is 0, 0, because it's kind of easier. So let's test 0, 0 with this inequality and see whether it actually makes this statement true. So we pick 0, 0, so at this part, x is 0. So when I replace x with 0, I'm going to have a positive 1 here. I place 0 here, I'm going to get a negative 3. So 1 by negative 3 is what? Negative 3. And truly negative 3 is less than what? 0. So we can say that the origin satisfies this what? Particular inequality here. So we shade that region. Okay? We show that our solution set is within that particular region. So we ignore the left hand side and the right hand side because the middle is already satisfying. Now one thing also you should notice that when we have an inequality sign with the bar under it, it tells us that the roots we find here are part of the solutions. But when there is no bar under the inequality sign, it means the roots we find here itself does not satisfy the equation. So since we have the bar here, it means one is negative one is part of the solution, three is also part of the solution. So we are picking it from negative one toward three. So we can say a solution set for this inequality is x greater than negative one less than three. Okay, so that's what x will give us. Or we can also write it in the um, interval form that is negative 1, positive 3, all in square bracket, but they are all what? Inclusive. So this is how we find the roots or the values of x when given an inequality, which is a quadratic function. I hope this is helpful. So you keep going through the steps. And it's as easy as that. First, factorize the expression on the left hand side. When you get the factors, you transform it into an equation and get the root. Draw each graph, pythagorean graph. Take either the end size, any points from the end sides or within the graph and test with the what inequality expression here. The aspect that satisfies the equation becomes what our solution set. So, till we meet again.